Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming at you live outside of Charleston, South Carolina. I wanted to um, get up with you guys. I know the holidays have come through. They've come and gone. And um, some of you are trying to get back into a routine of sorts. And I wanted to share some information for those of you who... Y'all bear with me. This is a new camera. I mean a new... A new stand. I wanted to share a little bit of information. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Christina. I want to share a little bit about what do you do when you go out to eat and you're trying to stay keto. So what I did is I went and I did a little research and I thought I would share that with you guys. And um, if you're new to keto, just comment new below. Um, and I'll repeat that during the process. Hey, Heather. If you want to... Um, to get some more information on how to do keto and get yourself started. Menu plans, whatever you kind of need there. So I'm just going to go over all the different um, places that you can go out to eat. Hey, Lisa. And if you guys want to share this out, share it out to your group, share it out to your friends. Just share it out so we can make more awareness out there for what's available. If you want to have like a quick lunch out to eat or you're going out to eat for friends. Hey, Kathy. Um... Good afternoon, Heather. If you're going out to eat with friends, hey, Scott, or whatever's going on, a lot of times we have Christmas parties going up. What are we going to eat? What are we going to do? What are our options? So I wanted to give you some options. So I'm going to start with Jersey Mike's. Drop me a two below if you love, love, love subs or, or a sub emoji. I'm new at the emoji thing. All right, so drop me some sub emojis. Um, Jersey Mike's and just about any sub place you can get without the bread. So, um, a typical sub has at least 50 grams of carbohydrates. That's with the bun. So most of us are trying to do 20 grams of carbohydrates or less. So we want to generally stay away from any of the buns or things like that. So at Jersey Mike's, I'll just give you some examples. You get, um, what's called sub in a tub and it's prepared in a bowl or a container rather than a bun a bun and it saves you more than 40 grams of carbs so that's pretty substantial you can request to be prepared as a salad just about anywhere that you go at any sub place with olive oil and vinegar rather than the dressing the dressing's gonna add a little bit more carbs but if you look at your dressing content you're you're fine with that if you're um, good with your carbs so at Jersey Mike's a number one which is a BLT with mayonnaise that's gonna run you about 500 calories 12 grams of protein, 46 grams of fat, and only 8 grams of carbs. Um, if you get a little bit, the chicken salad is 9 grams. The roast beef and provolone is 8. Now, let me go back. The nine ha the chicken salad has 3 grams of fiber. Hey, Jenny Lynn. Hey, Nanley. So that's 9, 8, 7, 6. So that would be 6. So if you have um, carbohydrates the total carbohydrates, you'll subtract out the fiber to get the net grams of carbohydrates. So actually, if you go to Jersey Mike's and you just get, hey, Ronnie, you just get chicken salad, you're going to subtract the three, nine, eight, seven, six. So that's going to give you six grams. Um, if you get the Club Supreme, it's nine net grams. The chicken salad is six net grams. California Club is five net, gram net carbs. So you can get a sub just about anywhere for less than 10 grams. You just don't get the bread. You get the good veggies. Most uh, sub toppings are the good veggies, so you're good there. KFC, drop me a two if you like KFC. I like KFC. KFC's pretty doggone good. Now, I will tell you this. Um, on average, the amount of carbs in a piece of fried chicken from KFC runs 8 to 11 grams. That eats up quite a bit. But um, you can pick a better option. So if you get their grilled chicken, it's less than one gram. So it's all about choices. You know, you can choose the higher one, but it's going to possibly toss you out of ketosis. And then you either have to do one of two things. You have to kind of start over nutritionally, or you can go therapeutically with drinking ketones, which is what I do to kind of get my body back in a natural state of ketosis. Um, green beans are two grams of a di digestible carbs per serving. And I love you, Christina. She just sent me a cute little message. I love you so much. Um, coleslaw, you want to watch out for that because that is going to be 10 grams of carbohydrates. So that's got the sugar in it. So you want to steer to your green beans. Also, if you go to Captain D's, you can get the, um, the baked fish and green beans and broccoli and salad. All that is super, super great. So um, at KFC, you get a grilled chicken thigh. 
you have zero carbs. It's uh, you got 17 grams of protein, which is pretty substantial. You only like their potatoes. Yeah, they don't have cauliflower potatoes, unfortunately, at Kentucky Fried Chicken. So hey, Mary. <laughs> so yeah, um, I did kind of like the potatoes, but I steer away from those. And the mac and cheese now stick with green beans. Um, the grilled chicken drumstick, again, zero grams. That's 11 grams of protein. So the grilled chicken breast is 38 grams of protein. So you can really get a great, great um, lunch out at uh, KFC. I think um, a lot of you don't realize the good stuff that we can get out and about. Um, if you're a coffee drinker, drop a four below or a coffee emoji. Give me a coffee emojis. If you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, those are actually zero carbs. So you can drink coffee, you can drink tea, and they have caffeine in them, which is actually really good for getting and keeping your body in ketosis. So caffeine is a good thing. It has impressive benefits for you while you're practicing keto in that it may improve your mood, increase your metabolic um rate and boost your mental and physical performance. So, yep, there you go. Um, caffeine is a good, good thing. I like going to Starbucks. My um, daughter-in-law, Christina, she helped me really get a handle on Starbucks. So you go to Starbucks if you like a cream kind of coffee. I got three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, the heavy whipping cream, and Splenda. Yum, yum, yum. They also have that pink drink that is zero grams of carbs. It is super, super good. So if you're a Starbucks fan, drop me a coffee emoji. I love, love Starbucks. And I'm going to pay the extra for the coffee because I can get zero carbs there. There you go, Heather. I get zero carbs at Starbucks rather than going to McDonald's or Hardee's or Sunoco or any of the little stop shops. Um, and to me, it's worth paying the little bit of extra so I can know that I'm getting the product that I want. So, um, let's talk about Chipotle. Hey, Lindy. So, for those of you who love, love, love Mexican, I'm going to talk about Chipotle and Taco Bell. So, um, the Chipotle is a lot more natural kind of stuff. Christina, I know you love your coffee. Um, it's a lot more natural. So, um, a lot of people prefer it. You can get a salad with meat or chicken, grilled veggies, and guacamole, and it's only six net carbs. So that's pretty good. It's high in protein, high in fiber, and with doing that, you increase the production in your gut. There's certain hormones in there, and when you have that kind of food, it tells your brain that you're full, and it keeps you from overeating. I know you like some tacos, Christina. <laughs> um, vinaigrette is also available, so a generous serving of guacamole and salsa make a salad dressing unnecessary. Hey, Darlene, I got your package going out today. Yay! So, um... Anytime you get any kind of Mexican, what you really want to avoid and make sure, and you have to ask the question sometime, and this is also at Captain D's, you want to make sure you don't get the rice, um, that you don't get the beans, um, and let's see, what did I have written down for Taco Bell specifically? I love Taco Bell. There's a couple more. I'm going to come back. Oh, I'm going to come back to Taco Bell though, because I got a little bit further down in my list, but yes, you can eat at Taco Bell. Um... Hardee's. Hardee's is actually one of my favorite. Drop me an H below. Fajita veggies. Yes, ma'am. You can do fajita veggies. Um, drop me an H below if you're a Hardee's fan. I think Hardee's has really got it figured out. They have their menu tailored for gluten-free people and also for keto, low carb. So all you can you can order any of their hamburgers at all that you want, and you can just tell them you want it a low carb wrap any of their burgers. So the mushroom and Swiss thick burger, no bun, five grams of carbs. It is super, super good. Bacon cheese thick burger, which is the third, is four grams. And then when you get into the quarter pounder cheeseburger, that's going to have, um, I guess it's counting the ketchup and the mustard and all that. That's at nine grams. But you can also order them plain. So you want to say no ketchup. Always say no ketchup. The mustard is fine. No ketchup, the tomatoes are fine, the lettuce is fine. You can even add those. Um, so you're talking around four or five grams. Hi, Sylvia. Talking about four or five grams. Uh, cheese is less than a gram. Bacon is less than a gram. I always add bacon on mine. Mustard is less than a gram. Mayo, most mayonnaise is, um, like I think Hardy's does the Duke's mayonnaise, and that's zero carbs. Um, onions are one gram per slice, and tomatoes are less than a gram. And lettuce is 
not even worth mentioning. It's super small. So um, that that is great. Guacamole is three grams per quarter cup. Um, hard low carb breakfast bowl though. I will tell you a little bit of cautionariness here. Um, it's 10 grams of carbohydrates for one Hardy's breakfast bowl. Yes, I said 10. All right. Now, I don't, I think where those carbs come in is they actually use the, um, the omelet mix. And sometimes those things can have stuff hidden in it. Did you know IHOP omelets have pancake mix in it? So you kind of, anytime you order omelets anywhere, you want to make sure that there's nothing else in it but eggs. So ask the questions. Always ask the questions. Um, whereas if instead of getting a low carb bowl, you could get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit without the biscuit, and you're down to 230 calories, 18 grams of fat, and two carbs. So you could get two biscuits for four carbs rather than a low carb bowl for 10. So these are the things that you need to know the answers to the questions when you're up there ordering the menu. And that's how the sneaky carbs get in there. Because whenever you order something, you think, gosh, why am I not in ketosis? Why am I not losing weight? Well, it's because of the hidden carbs sometimes that get you. Because you're thinking you're staying under 20 when all actuality, you may only be staying under 50. Uh, Panera Bread. Oh, I love Panera Bread. And I did not know this until I did my research today. I am definitely going to do some Panera Bread next time we go to town. Panera Bread Power Breakfast Bowl. The Power Breakfast Bowl with steak. Oh, yes. With steak. You can have steak. Features two eggs, steak, tomatoes, and avocados. And in case you didn't know, avocados are super, super, super good. They are high in fat, but the good fat. So they're super great. It's five grams of carbs. Yes, only five. And 20 grams of protein. They also have the Power Breakfast Egg White Bowl with turkey. It contains egg whites, spinach, which is good for you. Bell peppers, very good for you, and basil for 7 grams of carbs and 25 grams of protein. So a little more protein. Starting the day with high-protein breakfast promotes feelings of fullness and decreases your appetite by reducing levels of hunger hormone ghrelin. Um, and, and that, you know, basically says, hey, you're full, stop eating. So you want to select an egg-based breakfast with meat and vegetables to keep your carb intake low and control your hunger levels. Okay, let me move on to one of my favorites, buffalo wings. Now, my son and I went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and they had a buffet. So you could get a salad, and they, they, it was like a Caesar salad, but they skimped on the cucumbers. So I asked for extra cucumbers. And then they have a variety of different flavors. Now, you have to be careful on your flavors that you pick. I know, I love Wild Wings. Isn't it great? Drop me a little chicken drum emoji if you love Wild Wings or any kind of wings. I love wings. You have to be careful again about those hidden carbs on wings because what happens is this. You've got your sauce, so it could or could not be. If you're using barbecue sauce, no, not a good thing. So when I go out for wings, I order my wings plain. And if I want a little zing to it, I'll get hot sauce on the side. I do get ranch, full fat ranch, and celery. So for those things, there you go. There's my drumstick. For those things, um, you can eat 12 wings. I only generally eat seven. Hey, Darlene. So seven's usually my limit for wings. And I'll probably have the equivalent of a stalk of celery and one or two little cups of ranch. So I'm still under 10 grams, even with all that. But mild or hot wings, depending on what's on them, can be anywhere from zero to three grams per, um, hey Margo, per wing. But plain or zero. Now, let me tell you about the other hidden little secret you may not know about with wings. You have to ask, how are your wings made? Because sometimes they will dust them with flour and you don't even know it. So ask them. Ask the question. This is your job when you go out to eat is to ask the question. Do you have flour on your wings? I want mine plain. No flour, no nothing. And then maybe get it tossed in a mild hot sauce, which doesn't have any, any carbs on it. So choose non-breaded buffalo wings. There you go. There's my chicken. Non-breaded buffalo wings with the traditional sauce, celery, and you can even have a few carrots. Carrots are not a total no-no. 
um, you can just get a few strips of carrots and you're still okay. But all that you can have for under 10 grams of carbohydrates. So it's super, super wonderful. Hey, Brittany. Thanks for joining. Okay, so bacon or sausage and eggs. Let's talk about those power breakfasts. Sometimes the simplest breakfast can be the best option, such as a baconator or sausage and egg. But my parents eat sausage or bacon and eggs just about every day, except for when we do like Waffle Wednesday and have keto waffles, which are amazing. But um, this traditional breakfast is available at most fast food restaurants. And it contains a minimal amount of carbs. So if you just order bacon and eggs, generally you're getting a, a pretty good deal. Eggs can help you feel full and satisfied for hours. So eggs are a good thing. If you're on the go and you don't have time for a long lunch, take you a couple boiled eggs for lunch. It will satiate you and it's got the good fat, it's got no carbs, and it'll take you right on through dinner. Um, in one study of overweight young women, eating sausage and eggs for breakfast helped reduce their appetite. It has also lowered blood sugar and insulin while reducing calorie intake at lunch compared to low-protein, higher-carb breakfast. So, the breakfast of champions is going to be bacon and eggs. So, I like bacon and eggs. Now, a lot of people have differing opinions. Just let me say I am not a medical professional. I am just sharing what has worked for me and the research that I have done. So I hope you're getting value out of this. If this is something that you're enjoying and you think somebody else would enjoy it, please share this out to your keto group, share it out to your friends. And I would absolutely love it. If I see you share it out, I will certainly give you a full name shout out. Okay. So, oh, thank you so much, Margo. I am so proud of me. Now I will tell you, I just recently posted my pictures. I think Margo must have seen them. And the difference in what the scale says and what a picture says is huge, huge. So remember, don't be slave to the scale. Don't be slave to the scale because this is about losing fat. And when you're losing fat, that's a lot of bulk. So um, if you look at my pictures, my pictures will show you 22 pounds lost, but it's a huge difference. You can see it in my face. You can see it in my body. You can see it everywhere. It's just amazing. Okay, so let's go to Arby's. Oh, I did not go to Arby's until recently. Recently, I said, and I'll tell you what got me. Thanksgiving was coming up, and I saw on their big sign, fried turkey. Oh, my goodness. I love fried turkey. Drop me a turkey below if you love fried turkey, because I love, 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 love some fried turkey. And so it had the fried turkey BLT. So I said, well, boys, let's go check it out. So I was going to the movies with my kids. We went in. I got the fried BLT with no bun. And they brought it in this nice little dish. And it was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was tender. It was juicy. It was cheesy. It had lettuce and tomato and nice thick. Um, and it was a nice thick several pieces of turkey. It wasn't anything that, you know, they were, they were, uh, being skimpy on. You can get um, at Arby's, you can get a smokehouse brisket with Gouda cheese, sauce, and a side salad for five grams of carbs. That's pretty substantial. And it's got 32 grams of protein. So that protein is going to make you also feel fuller. So you want to stick to that. Arby's also has a nutrition calculator, as do a lot of them. So if you go online and you know you're going to go to lunch somewhere, then go ahead and plan ahead and use those nutritional calculators. Um, Let's talk Italian. The difference between the scale and the measuring tape is even more crazy. Yes, it is. Arby's, yes. That exact same sandwich is so good. And you can't finish it all. It is awesome. Hey, Tiffany. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's move to um, Italian. I love Italian. So when we go to somewhere like the Olive Garden or Carrabba's or whatever, you can order and guilt-free order the antipasto salad. This salad is traditionally served as an appetizer, but you can order it as a meal. It's got cheese, olives, which are good high fats, vegetables topped with the olive oil-based dressing, and the entree, sometimes they have an entree size of antipasto anti salad, which is rich in protein and it's less than 10 grams of carbs. So you're really, really, really making a fantastic choice going to Italian. It's doable. And I love cooking Italian at home even more. All right, so Subway, their double chicken chopped salad. Anything at Subway, you can order in a salad. My son went there and they just, 
embarrassed him. He was so embarrassed. I said, son, you have to know how to order. The people behind the counter are not, they're going to look at you like you're crazy when you say, don't give me a, a hoagie. And the girl was like, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do with this stuff? And he's like, I don't know. So ask him to put it as a salad and save yourself a little bit of grief there. Um, one of the most satisfying nutrition options is the double chicken chop salad with avocado. Um, it contains 10 grams of total carbs, four of which are fiber. So let's do the math. Y'all drop me the answer. If you have 10 total carb carbohydrates and four are fiber, how many net carbohydrates does that give you? I'm going to wait for my answers. If you have 10 total, hi Kylie, if you have 10 total grams of carbohydrates and four of them are protein, how many do you think that is net grams of carbohydrates? I mean, four of them are fiber. How many do you think is net carbohydrate, carbohydrates there? So I don't see any yet, but I'm going to tell you the answer. The answer is six. You take the 10, subtract the four, your net carbs are going to be six. So your total carbohydrates, subtract out your fiber, which is four, your net carbs are going to be six. Um, and that's also with that same salad is 36 grams of protein. Hey, Tammy. Um, avocados are rich. Oh, let's see. Hardee's will wrap any of their sandwiches absolutely with lettuce. They have a make-your-own sandwich option. Absolutely they do. Hey, Nancy. Um, and let's go back to avocados. Do not chinch on avocados. You can sneak them in salads. You can sneak them in stir fries. Sneak in avocado wherever you can. I know avocados do have carbohydrates, but you have to take out the fiber in them. So they're rich in heart-healthy, monosaturated fat and fiber. Hey, Lisa. Eating them at lunch may even lead to lower calorie intake at your next meal. Does that make everyone want to have like avocados with their lunch? Like I want to go right now and go eat some Mexican. I'm going to get me some guacamole. I'm going to make some guacamole today. Hey, Martha, I have two avocados in my fridge and that's what I love making with a guacamole. And I take my pork skins and I dip them in the guacamole. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you for sharing. And Kylie, if anybody else uh, feels like they're getting value out of this and you just like following me and you want to help me out, I would love for you to share my videos. I love helping people and it's so exciting to me whenever I see so many viewers coming on my videos. I'm like, whoa. You know, I tell my kids, I joke, I said, you know, I'm a little bit of something um, on Facebook. You know, I'm a thing. <laughs> so y'all help share it out. My kids just get such a kick out of it. My cousin Holly came to visit and says, you know, that's my cousin, you know? So shout out to my cousin Holly. Um, anytime you go and you go to a sub place, order salad with double meat, vegetables, and avocados for a delicious and satisfying Subway meal. Now let's talk about Taco Bell and their burrito bowl. So you can get a burrito bowl. And you ask them to make it with whatever meats, steak, hamburger, chicken, whichever one, grilled onions, bell peppers, salsa. You can order this at any any Mexican place. And that's a delicious, satisfying meal that is less than 10 grams of carbohydrates. Leave off the rice and the flour tortilla. Because if you add rice and flour tortilla, if you think they're innocent, they're not. They are 100 grams if you wanna, if you wanna be out of ketosis, go ahead and go get yourself a burrito with the rice and the flour tortilla. That's gonna be a hundred grams of carbohydrates, and it is terrible for you. So, um, choose a burrito bowl or a bear burrito for great flavor of traditional burrito with very few carbs. Leave out the beans, leave out the rice, leave out the flour tortilla. And, you know, <clears throat> these combos at these drive-throughs, skip the fries, skip the diet soda. Water is better for you because I'll tell you why. When you're when you're eating keto, you have fat cells, right? So the fat cells that we have before they completely collapse, a lot of times that's why you're not seeing your scales move. The fat cells, they're full of fat, right? So you're eating keto and it's hanging on to that cell and keeping it full, but it's filling it, hi friend, it's filling it now with water. All right. So the more water you eat, the more it's filling that fat cell up with water. So when the fat cell empties of the fat and is full of water, bam, there you go. So that's when you see those significant drops and you're like, wow, how did I lose five pounds overnight? Well, that fat cell finally collapsed and it's all water and then it's gone. 
So when people say water weight, that's where that actually comes from, which is not a bad thing. So the more water you drink, the more fat you're going to lose. The water pushes the fat out and cleanses your body. So if you're not losing weight and you're doing keto, check your water intake. That could be your issue. You could be drinking a little bit too less water, and I am going to drink mine now. Hold on. <laughs> I am talking a lot. All right, so Subway. We talked about Subway. You can go and turn anything into a salad. Their tuna salad is seven, six, five grams of carbs. Their, okay, let's do the test again. Let's see if you guys can answer. I'm going to give you the total carbs. I'm going to give you the fiber. You let me know what the net carbs are. So tuna salad, total carbs, seven grams. Fiber is two. How many net grams is that going to give me? Hey, Chrissy. That's going to give me five. Oven roasted chicken is seven grams with two in fiber. Again, five. Roast beef is seven grams with three fiber. That's going to be four. Subway Club is eight with three fiber. That's going to be five. Cold Cut Combo is nine with two fiber. That's going to be seven. So when you're ordering out, order no bun, no bread. Hey, Rosie, getting your stuff out today. What can you get from the Handy Mart? Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you what. So this is my this is my niece being a smarty pants. So I'll answer your question. What you can get from the Handy Mart is you can get um, a hot dog with no bun. Yes, you can. I did the other day. When your mom got a corn dog, I said, I am not going to cave in and have a corn dog. So I got a hot dog with no bun. You can get a Slim Jim. You can get, I think they even have boiled eggs. You can get um, pork skins. And I like the vinegar and onion. Matter of fact, I bought four bags from the Handy Mart, vinegar and onion, pork skins, pork rinds. So there is your answer, ma'am. Trying to stump me. I know how to eat low carb everywhere even at your house when you're having a party okay so mcdonald's egg mcmuffin no bread is three grams zero fiber so if you get that egg mcmuffin you're going right now <laughs> go ahead get it girl i'm trying to get her on keto she is 30 weeks pregnant and growing like this kid wants to be three weeks ahead of schedule and come early so i'm trying to get her on the whole keto wagon and get her straight. Um, so I would, um, the Egg McMuffins are made a little differently. So I think those are a little higher in carbs. You're better off again to get the other one. McDonald's um, McDouble, no bun, no ketchup is three grams of carbs. The double cheeseburger, no bread is five grams. The grilled chicken sandwich, no bun is two grams minus one for fiber is one. Chili's a no-no unless you make it. Chili is generally a no-no unless you're the one making it. It has sugar in it, um, so you want to stay away from the chili. You can have onions, you can have relish, you can have mustard, no ketchup. No ketchup. Now, there is sugar-free ketchup. Now, if you are like me, you like plan ahead, like I'll put my stevia in my pocket when I go out to eat. Um, so a lot of places are starting to carry stevia, but not everyone does. So you can do that the same for your, you can get yourself one of these little tiny sugar-free ketchup, stick them in your pocketbook and you're good to go. Okay. So always, sounds good. Always want to get a caffeine boost, but you do not want to do it through Diet Coke. I am a bad one for that, but you don't want to get it through Diet Coke if you can avoid it. Now, what I do like to use is Zevia. Zevia is it for me. I love, love, love Zevia. It is my absolute favorite, and it's a good substitute. It is made from the stevia leaf. So, that is definitely a good thing. Um, let's see what... Oh, Burger King. Drop me a crown if you like the king. I like Burger King. I am, I've always been a Burger King fan. I remember one time I had... Um, went on this diet when I was in high school. Hey, Bethany. And I just loved eating their chicken sandwiches, but I ate the bread back then. Yeah, I put the weight back on because I was a bread junkie. But when you go to Burger King, you want to stick with burgers, cheeseburgers, and grilled chicken sandwich. 
Whopper or Double Whopper without bread or ketchup. Some of the other sandwiches, like the Farmhouse King, they creep up in the carbs. So you want to watch Burger King because they're a little bit sneaky. Thanks for sharing, Bethany. I so much appreciate that. As much as we can share out, we like to do that. Reason being is a lot of people don't know how easy keto is. Keto is so easy to do. You could do it anywhere. So for Burger King cheeseburger, you are no bun, no tomatoes, no ketchup, less than one gram of carbohydrates. A double cheeseburger, no bun, no ketchup, less than one gram. So you can go and have a lunch out, be satisfied, and not get a bunch of carbs. Um, grilled chicken sandwich, theirs is two grams, but that's no bun, no tomatoes, no ketchup. So I'm not sure why theirs is two grams, because that's a little puzzling to me. Double cheeseburger, no bun, one gram of carbohydrates. Um, we went over Arby's already. You can get um, many of their sandwiches without the bun. And I, I mentioned the BLT one, but you can also get roast beef, and that's one gram of carbohydrates, no bun. Double roast beef is two grams. Hey, Christine. Um, smokehouse brisket is three grams, but it's one gram of fiber. So again, how many net is that? Two. Uh, three cheese steak sandwich, that's five grams. Corned beef and cheese slider is one gram. Ham and cheese slider. Now, again, these are no buns, the sliders. All these are no bun. Um, the three cheese steak sandwich also is no bun, no onion strings as well. Um, let's see. The Arby's side salad is four grams of carbs, but one of those is fiber, so they're three. Um, buttermilk ranch is two grams. Light Italian, two grams. Balsamic vinaigrette. Four grams. So your best option is going to be your buttermilk ranch there. Um, oh, Taco Bell. Let's talk about Taco Bell. To save money and get what you want at Taco Bell, you stick to the sides. So at Taco Bell, drop me a taco if you like Taco Bell. You don't have to pay for the shells. You just throw them out or tell them to the shell. Um, so you get the sides. The mini skin skillet bowl minus the potatoes or the power menu bowl minus the rice and the beans are both good options. For the side salads, you can order a side of lettuce, a side of beef, a side of chicken, a side or two of guacamole, combine them up, and that's a nice little quick meal. So the sides are where it's at with Taco Bell. That way you know what you're getting. It's nothing snuck into there. You can add the cheese on there as well. So Taco Bell is actually a very viable option. Um, Wendy's. Wendy's has some of the fast food places out there. Yeah, I love those thumbs up. Taco Bell. I'm, I'm expecting to see like 20 tacos drop anytime. <laughs> so, um, the next one I'm talking about is Wendy's. And I will tell you, Wendy's and Hardee's are the two fast food places that I really like because they use real ground beef. The other ones seem to be more processed and th there's more hidden stuff in there. Um, you can make you can make do without kicking yourself out of ketosis and just remove the bun. So you get a baconator, no bun. Double stack, no bun. Grilled chicken sandwich, no bun. Junior bacon cheeseburger, no bun. Chicken BLT, no bun. Chicken cob salad. Avocado ranch dressing. Nanley knows where the tacos are at. Small Caesar salad, no croutons. Now remember, when you order these salads, don't put the croutons on there. Um, Wendy's... They were really tough to find nutritional information. Hello, Katie V. Um, but you might try asking a staff member when you go in there. But I didn't find theirs readily available. Whereas you have Hardee's that has their, you can go online and you can modify whatever you want. Like you can take the bread off, you can take the bacon off, you can take the sausage off, you can take the, hey John, you can take off anything that you want as far as toppings with Hardee's and create what you want on your order. Order any burgers from the value meal and chop the patties into a Caesar salad. Oh, avocado is the best, Stanley. Also, any salad, I get avocado in. Order extra, extra chicken filet on any sandwich. Um, order the grilled chicken patty and cheese and bacon on top. This is all at Wendy's. They have whole eggs. So try ordering a bunless burger with an egg on the side. So there's your eggs again. Eggs are going to fill you up and they're going to take you to your next meal. Jimmy John's. I haven't been to Jimmy John's yet. So, if you've been to Jimmy John's and you've ordered keto, drop a JJ below. I want to see Jimmy John's fans. JJ for Jimmy John. 
They're crazy fast. So, Jimmy John's is on my list. Yes, I love Jimmy John's. It's on my list to try, but I haven't tried it since keto. And what you do is, it's similar to a sub shop. Like Subway, any sandwich option can be ordered without bread. You just order it, get this, as an unwitch. Not a sandwich, an unwitch. I love that. I just love that. I think it's cool. And you'll be good to go with a low-carb lunch or dinner. Even though Jimmy, Jimmy John's is a sub shop, like Subway, go ahead and just say no bread or unwitch. Um, the only downside to unwitches is they can be pretty pricey without the bread, but I don't mind paying extra for getting something that's better for me. Um, you can also order slim unwitches too which still give you a good amount of subs substance for a lower price. So if you're working on a budget, order a slim unwitch. And I guess that's half of the bread, but I haven't been there yet. So anybody ordered Keto Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's yet? Let me know how you liked it, because I am really, really excited. And it looks really cool. I've seen it on online, like they're wrapped around it. It's really nice. So, the Giant Clubs, number eight, Billy Club Unwitch, is six grams with one gram of fiber. Again, six minus one, you got five net carbs. Number 10, Hunter's Club Unwitch, is four grams with one gram of fiber, so that's three. Uh, number 15, Club Tuna Unwitch, is seven minus one, which is six. Now, the Slim Unwitches are the Slim Tuna Salad Unwitches, five with one gram of fiber so that makes it four the slim five salami on which is three no fiber so that is a net of three all right five guys drop me a five below if you're a five guys burger joint fan i've never been there i've heard amazing things about it so from my research you can order any of the burgers with a lettuce wrap or order it as a salad option. All of their toppings are virtually no carb too, except for the barbecue sauce, ketchup, and relish. Stay away from those. Barbecue sauce, ketchup, and relish. Those are things you either want to make on your own or buy sugar-free and carry them with you. So five guys, I'm going to give you a few examples. Their hot dog no bun is one gram of carbohydrate. Pretty good option. So you get two. Um, bacon, two pieces of bacon, zero. Sometimes you'll come across where bacon is one or just under one at some of these places, and that's probably because it's more processed, sugar cured, whatever. But you can get a bacon wrapped hot dog for one gram of carbohydrate. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if they have eggs, but a lot of times burger joints have fried eggs. So you could get a fried egg with a bacon wrapped hot dog and your one gram of carbohydrates, super filling. Um, the hamburger no bun is 43 grams of fat and zero carbs. So we're talking real ground beef, good stuff. Uh, cheeseburger is one gram because of, with no bun because cheese is one gram. Uh, bacon burger, again, zero. So Five Guys looks like somewhere I definitely want to go. If you don't have a Five Guys locally, I am so sorry for you because when I go to Charleston, Five Guys is now on my list. Hey, Courtney. So, Little Hamburger, zero grams, 26 grams of fat. Little Cheeseburger is a half a gram. Little Bacon Burger is zero. Little Bacon Cheeseburger is a half a gram. So, all of those you just order no bun. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. Tell me, please, I want you to right now go and find the pizza emoji. I want to see how many of you love, love, love pizza. Yes, I said pizza. So... You go and you're like, how can I go eat pizza and not go out and, and eat the bread? Vicky likes pizza. Well, let me tell you where we go, Vic. This is the deal. I've been there twice. I absolutely love, love, love it. It's $5.99 for your meal and a drink. So, they have a salad bar. Which I know, Vicki, you don't like. Thank you, Courtney, for sharing. If you guys want other people to be able to understand keto and how you can eat out so great on keto, please share this out to your friends. Please, please, please. Um, if you want to join a group that also supports this kind of stuff and encourages you and is not negative, Nancy, 
please comment group below and I'll get you added in. If you're new to keto and you want some more information, comment new and I'll be happy to help you there too. Um, the group thing is huge for me. It's over 100,000 women who share recipes, their results. They encourage you. There's no negative vibe there. It's all just a super, super great place. So um, drop your pizza emojis. And if you're on the replay, give me a hashtag replay. If you're watching live, tell me you're watching live because I like to know who's who's watching it after the fact. So let's get back to the pizza. All right. So $5.99. Hi, Carolyn. $5.99, including your drink. And I know, you know, sometimes we slip and we really want that Diet Coke. So, you know, I'm not going to judge. I occasionally do, you know, get a Diet Coke. So anyway, whether you get water or Diet Coke, whatever. So you can get get your order, pay $5.99 at CC's Pizza Buffet. I'll tell you how you do it. So you go, you make your order for the bar, and yes, I absolutely will, Lori. Um, and you go, and you go to the bar, and to the back of the bar, there's these little cards, and they're like green. And you get the card, and you put on it the word bowl, and you check off all the toppings you want. Like, I put 2X cheese, beef, olives, mushrooms, onions, bell pepper, spinach, all of that can go on there. And you put bowl. And they're not going to put the crust on there. You're just going to have all these good toppings that's baked into this bowl. And it's amazing. So you have that, you have your salad, and you're so full. Oh, I'm breaking up. Oh, hold on. Can we turn off the video, please? I'm so sorry, I'm watching live. If anybody else, I'm hoping this will get better. You want to go on live? No, I heard not. Yes, turn the um, turn the turn the stuff off in there so this is breaking up. Okay, so at CC's buffet, you write on the form, you order a bowl, and you pick your low carb toppings. Five ninety nine, you get a drink, a salad, and a whole pizza thing without the carbohydrates in the crust. So it just comes in a bun. So I think we talked about that. Oh my goodness, we talked about so much. So tips for eating keto fast food anywhere. Um, can you guys hear me better now? I hope you can. I hope it wasn't breaking up the whole time. Forget the bun. Get rid of the bread on a burger and wrap it instantly. It slashes the carbs by like 50 grams of carbohydrates. Um, if they're not used to taking the bun off of whatever they're doing, ask them to put it in a bowl or a container. Most of them already know the deal by now. Avoid breaded things and french fries. Uh, focus on meat, cheese, and veggies. Everywhere you go, meat, cheese, and veggies. Be wary of salads. Sometimes they seem like a good thing to get your extra vegetables and replace the bread, but most fast food salads have added dried fruits and nuts coated in sugar and high carb dressings, croutons, and more. So always check the ingredients. Chick-fil-A is famous for that. You know, their salads are kind of funny. You know, you got Waldorf salads and all that. Now you can have pecans and things like that, but you don't want like yogurt covered raisins or none of that stuff. You want, um, always you can add nuts to your salads, <clears throat> but you have to be careful. Ask them what's in their salad. Get dressings or sauces on the side. And when you're doubting something, avoid it. When in doubt, just avoid it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. I love doing it. Um, if you want more specific information, if you if you want um, more details, say you're going somewhere specific, then I can send you a link and share some more details with you. If um, you want to be added to the group, please comment group below, and I'll be happy to send you an invite for the group. They're amazing, amazing people. It's men, women of all ages. You will find someone that you can relate and connect to and partner up with. Sometimes it's just a matter of having a partner to join forces with. Um, if you're, hey, Brooke, oh, it's been such a long time. If you're new to keto, comment new below. If, um, you you don't know about supplementation, please ask me. I do take several supplements, which I haven't done yet today. I don't have a gallbladder, so I take gallbladder supplements. I take potassium, magnesium. I get in my electrolytes with pink Himalayan salt. I drink exogenous ketones. I make sure that my body is working at its optimum level. I also take um, 
it's it's one for hair uh keratin uh for my hair as well and collagen uh, MCT oil. Those are supplements that I make sure I add into my diet or I add into by supplementation. I've had gastric bypass, so supplementation is super, super important for me. And I believe supplementation is important for everyone. If you want to know how much potassium, magnesium, and sodium you should have a day, then definitely send me a message. Supplementation will cost you a little bit more in money, but the rewards are so great. I am not having keto flu. I am not cramping up in the middle of the night with cramps. Now think about this. If your legs are cramping and it's a muscle, so will your heart. It's a muscle as well. So you want to take good care of your heart. And that means making sure you've got enough potassium and magnesium. As with anything, you want to consult your doctor to make sure for your particular circumstances that it works for you. But if you have not yet and you have any kind of issue, Google your issue, say ADHD and ketosis, and see if it's a benefit for you. Because eating a low-carb keto lifestyle is going to put your body in ketosis naturally. Some of us use exogenous ketones to help us get there a little faster, and then our body just kind of kicks in. I know it's worked for me. I hope you know, I've shared something that can help work for you. If you are interested in getting more information on any of that and you want it right away. Hi, Miss Garcia. I think it's Malay. How do you pronounce that? Tell me how to pronounce that. Um, if you want more information and you want it right away, sometimes I have a lot of response on my videos. So I don't always have time to get time back right away. But if you want more information right away, I am still live. It was a lot of places to go out to eat. And you want more information right away, then just go ahead and send me a private message. If we're not friends on Facebook, please friend me. I love getting more friends and helping to influence people. You'll get notified whenever I go live if you friend me or follow me. I am super excited about this new life that I am living, and I am living my absolute best life yet. If you want to live your best life yet, and you want to look good, feel good, and be amazing, just message me, and I'll be happy to help you any way I can. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful av afternoon. Hello, kind of like smelly without the S. So it's Melly, Melly Garcia. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time with you guys today. I hope you got some information that was helpful. Share this video out to your keto groups, your keto friends, um, or your relatives. My family and I have com cumulatively lost over 100 pounds together. We've went down size after size after size. We've had amazing success. We've been doing this for four months. Uh, my hair, my skin, my nails, everything. My everything. My attitude, my mood, my mental clarity, my energy, my strength. Everything in my life has improved. I'm losing fat. I'm not just, you know, starving myself. My appetite is not there. I have just done great. I've had a half a Belgian keto waffle today and... I am just feeling great. Um, I, I've had my supplements. I still have to take my potassium, magnesium. Sometimes I forget until later on in the day. But everything combined together makes yourself better. So if you want to be a better you, keep following, keep listening. Message me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer any questions and help you anyway. Hey, Barbara, we're also going to be starting our reboot, which is like a 60-hour fast. Barbara asked me about that today. I'm super excited about that. We're going to be having our kits available on the 1st. So we'll start that about mid-month. And I have this um, dinner I'm going out for on the 15th, but our, our reboot starts on the 16th. So I'll be ready to go for that. You guys have a wonderful great day. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.